Habit series. And uh, we can uh, we have done two videos in the Habit series, and if you haven't seen them yet, please do check them, and the link is down below in the description. And uh, in the last few videos, uh, in the last two videos, we did about what are habits, boundaries, and how to set boundaries, and we saw all about that. And in this video, we will be uh, I'm going to be revealing one or something that we're going to be doing. Uh, we'll be doing 21 steps in which you will be turning into the new you. So uh, today in this video we will be doing the first 7 steps of the 21 steps and uh, it's going to be fun, it's going to be awesome so uh, mentally be prepared to go into the awesome 21 days, 21 steps. Uh, now first of all, the first step to you know, turning into the new you is to create an awesome and powerful mantra. Uh, now, it like a mantra is nothing but a positive energy that you create within yourself that motivates you whenever you say it. So it just it, it triggers you to do that habit which you are you know you want to do the habit. So now, as a student, I have uh, the mantra that I can get good marks uh, easily so the words good get and easy are soothing me and they're also very positive so uh this positive energy motivates me more and more more than ever to read properly and get good marks in the exams that i write so this is how you can create a mantra that will help you to motivate and it will trigger you to do your habit so you can choose uh, any sort of words that create a positive energy within you. So uh, that's the first step you have to do. Uh, so and the next step is uh, putting this into action. Now, uh, like when you say your mantra, as soon as you say it, you have to do uh, the the habit, no matter what you're doing. When you're when you're repeating the mantra over and over again. You have to do the habit, so it's the first step and the second step are really interconnected. Now, as you're doing this, uh, you know, action that is uh, when you're doing, uh, when you're putting the habit uh, with the mantra into the uh, into action. Now, you have to track your progress. This is the third step. Tracking your progress. Um, this is really simple. You can just get a calendar or a notebook. And you can just mark off the, the day that you did the habit. Um, and uh, it, it's really helpful because you'll be like, woohoo, I completed these many days of my habit. So uh, as I told you, we'll be doing 21 steps, right? So at the end, you can feel proud of yourself that you have completed these many days or these many steps uh, when, you know, when you're changing into the new you. So this will also help you get motivated a lot. So... So this is a really nice way to keep yourself going through. And now another thing is, now so far you might have only thought about one habit, right? At first when you were seeing, you know, when you started this video about habits, uh, the series of habits, you might be going into, you know, like uh, I want, I want to cultivate this habit, so I'm going through that. So you'll be thinking about that, right? So instead of doing I mean, doing uh, cultivating just one habit, you can add more habits that are like, you know, surrounding the main habit. So uh, it's like carpooling, right? So you have one habit, which is like uh, the driver's seat, and the other habits just hop along, and you know, you can just do all these habits. I mean, you can cultivate all these habits together. So this is a really nice way to cultivate more habits, and you can also do it like at the same time. Now the fifth step is uh, being focused on your habit. Uh, thing, uh, the most important thing is it is easy to get distracted. Like you might be like, oh, uh, uh, now let's say that you're uh, uh, like most of the examples I took in the last few videos. Uh, like you, if you, you want to lose weight and you're giving up on fried food. Uh, if your mother or your grandmother or your dad or your grandpa or someone in your family is offering you fried food, it might even be a friend, and you just love that uh, that type that dish. So you can't 
you know that that's called distraction you'll be distracted from your course of habit and you'll be like oh maybe i can just slack off this day i can just go for the fried food well don't be focused on your habit and another thing is especially when you're feeling distracted at moments like this say your mantra so that you remember your habit and you remember that you're not supposed to do that and you remember how important your habit is to your life uh, so all of these help you very much in uh, your, you know, changing into the new you, the progress. And avoid excuses and, you know, distractions. Like the last step. This is uh, actually the sixth step. Avoiding excuses and distractions. This is really important uh, because, as I told you, there will be a lot of distractions through your progress, through your journey. And you have to avoid all of them so that, you know, you just keep on going on. So this might be a bit difficult if you're having like more habits, but cultivating more habits is really good and it's worth taking this risk that is avoiding excuses and habits. You Now, let's say that you're a person who is like uh, doing, uh, let's just take another example instead of, you know, the losing weight example. We take another example that you're gardening. Now you love to garden, but you also want to learn some, let's say, piano lessons. Now, uh, if you're, it's like 6 a.m. in the morning and your piano lessons are like 8 a.m. in the morning and you went into the garden at 6 a.m. and you literally took like more than, uh, like till 9 a.m. you are working and you just remember after 9 a.m. that you had, you had piano lessons at 8 a.m. So you'll be like excusing, no, I like to do this today, so I'm just skipping piano. So don't do that. Like, uh, it's really important. Like, that habit is, habit is important. As much as gardening is important, piano lessons are also important. So you have to, like, not make excuses that you're doing this habit, so I'm not doing that habit. So you can avoid all those excuses and have time schedules. Uh, this is also another important thing. You can also cultivate this. This time management or time scheduling is not a habit by itself, but it's like, uh, let's say, a helper in your journey of, you know, the habits. The last, uh, se the seventh step, not the last step, the last step in this video, the seventh step, is rewarding yourself. Yes, you heard that right, people. After you're doing all these seven steps, you have the right to reward, reward yourself. And you can do that by literally anything except that it culture acts to your habit so don't go for that like as i told you if you want to lose weight so don't be like oh yeah she told me to reward myself i'm gonna go for some fried food don't so go for more healthy things like oh i'm gonna treat myself to some green vegetables that is good for losing your weight i mean for you're know, getting healthy food so you're, if you're giving up on junk food you can go for like oh i'm gonna warm myself with some healthy vegetables that is a good thing so you're still rewarding yourself and doing your body a favor so that is it for this video we've gone through seven steps now let's just recap what we have done in this video first we saw about creating your powerful positive mantra you have to prevail in it important and the second step is uh, putting th this mantra and the habit into action. The third step is to track your progress. You can do this, as I told you, by buying a calendar uh, and having a notebook and jotting down what you did today, which will really motivate you. And also do the carpooling thing that I told you, the fourth step, add more habits to your, you know, the main habit. And be focused in your habit. Don't get distracted. Sixth step, avoid all excuses and disruptions, important. Seventh step, easy, you can get it yourself, reward yourself, that's easy. So that's all for this video. Uh, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is Ashwari signing off from Tree Challenge. See you in the next video with another set of seven steps. Bye-bye.